in this video, we're going to focus on how to create a horizontal bar chart with Chart.js. And this is a quite straightforward process. However, if you've used Chart.js version 2, 2.9 or version 1, which are the older versions, you will notice that there's some breaking changes compared to Chart.js 3 because Chart.js version 3 uses a different way of creating a horizontal bar chart. So let's start and explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a horizontal bar chart in Chart.js. And a horizontal bar chart in the latest version in Chart.js 3.5, or basically in the, three, the, three, uh, the version 3 of Chart.js, they have some breaking changes compared to previously in any of the older versions of Chart.js 2 or Chart.js 1. However, it is very easy to cope with that. So let's start and explore how we can create one. First of all, before I even go in here, I'm using the latest version, which is as of now 3.5.0. But what I want you to do is I want you to go to my website here and grab the code that I'm using here as well. So you just go to chartjs3.com slash doc slash chart getting started. Just go to the getting started in documentation. You see someone getting started. Get that one and copy this code here. This code is based on the latest version here automatically and if you want to understand also what I'm doing here because these are built on blocks watch this video here that explains how this has been set up all right what we're going to do now is we're going to paste this in here once I paste this in here I'm going to copy the title here and replace my title Is that one all right save this once we save this there we are so we have now a default bar chart but this default bar chart is basically a vertical bar chart and what we want to do now is we want to move it horizontally to do this all we have to go here is basically check here you can find here probably the basic getting started migration you will see some adjustments here uh, let's look for the stack or index axis all right this is the one basically what i need it's this one here so you have the index axis that's down here uh, the horizontal bar. If you are familiar with Chart.js version 2, 2 plus, or 1, uh, I guess 1 as well, there they had the horizontal bar chart type. And what happened is they moved that because basically, what's the difference between a horizontal bar and a vertical bar chart is not that it's a bar of a, a different type of chart, it's just the positioning of it. Basically, what they say is, all right, just move the index axis. What we have so for example right now let's look at our chart the index or the x-axis is has the category and what we really want to do we want to swap these two we want to have the index axis with the category names on the side here and then values on the y-axis moving here down at the bottom on the x-axis so we swap these two so let's do that immediately to do this all we need to use is the command here it says here index axis i'm going to click on this and the moment i click on that we move here to the bar chart we are now in the bar chart types we can click on that all right here at the very top and then let's search here for the index axis index axis uh, let's see where are you index axis all right there we are it's a bit more it's probably a bit more down so you can see index axis is a string let's double check where we need to put this namespace and if we look very carefully only the data options need to be specified data set namespace all right we can do this directly in the data options where's the index axis as you can see by default it is set on x which is correct because let's look at it an x is set now and now we just want to convert that and this one could be done on probably this is in the general so it could be done in both ways in the options or specifically here but of course it will not make any sense Put it in the options here. So index axis, and all I want to say here is it's. Uh, oh, sorry, this should not be like that. No, it should be a string value. And you say here the y, comma. Once we did this, refresh. We can see now we swap basically the the indexes with each other. So instead of starting the labels at the x-axis, we now say we want to start the labels at the y-axis, and the number should be based on the x-axis and there you are and this is basically how we create it this is how you create a horizontal bar chart in chart.js 
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.